So these are the diagrams for price discrimination and you can either do two diagrams or three. I'm going to do three because I think it um, uh, sets it up a little bit more nicely. I forgot how to spell price discrimination. Then, okay, so I'm going to be thinking about a train. Um, so here we have price and quantity in this market or cost and output, whichever one you want to put. So I'm going to have my demand curve, average revenue, there we go, and marginal revenue, like that. Okay, so on these diagrams, what's easier to do is if you just draw, oh, my diagrams are a bit wonky today, is um, rather than do it doing lots of different J's, uh, to represent your marginal cost curve, um, it's easier just to draw a dotted line to represent the uh, marginal cost. Now, the reason why you can do this is because um, we're not trying to show changing marginal cost. In fact, um, a train that travels at nine in the morning or half eight in the morning when it's rush hour does not um, cost more to provide than the train that travels at two in the afternoon. Um, so in both the markets that we're going to look at that we can get price discrimination in, the, the marginal costs are going to be the same. So it's sufficient to just draw this dotted line. So if we were looking at this combined market, I'm going to call this comp for combined, um, same rule applies, oh I'll just label this marginal cost, um, same rule applies, marginal cost, marginal revenue, profit maximising output, we're assuming that this firm wants profit maximised, this would be the quantity, this would be the price, there we go, okay, so what we're getting when we have price discrimination or third degree price discrimination to be exact is we've got a market where there's maybe elastic, sorry, inelastic demand, and then we have a market where there's elastic demand. Um, so when we have inelastic demand, I'm going to draw this quite inelastic here. Uh, there's my average revenue for my inelastic demand. And then I'm going to have to draw it virtually straight from my marginal cost. Um, we're going to get a much higher price, or we should do, if I've drawn this right. Up it goes. Yep. Well, we've got a higher price. I think I've kind of made it higher. <laughs> but there we go. Okay. So we've got a, a much higher price than the combined um, price when we combine the average revenue um, and the marginal revenue together. And if we have a really um, elastic market, so we've got an elastic demand curve there, and... That can be our marginal revenue, and the other one was our average revenue. We're going to see we should have a much lower price than the inelastic market, but also the combined one. Okay, so that's how you show price discrimination. In the inelastic market, you should have a much higher price. In the elastic market, you should have a much lower price. So it makes sense, really, if you think about your AS. In the elastic markets, people are very sensitive um, to price changes. And um, in inelastic markets, they're very uh, insensitive. And we know that in the elastic markets, to maximise revenue, you reduce the price. In inelastic markets, to maximise revenue, you increase the price.